Hey everyone, today I'm here to share more on our plans for the future of Valorant Esports and the experiences we want to create for you next year. The growing Valorant community and your passion for the game have pushed us to dream big about what this esport can be. We want to build an esport that will meet the overwhelming demand we're seeing in every corner of the world. We want to highlight rising superstars and create bigger and more creative shows. We're taking everything we've learned, adding in a few new ideas, and forming partnerships that will help us realize our dreams for the next edition of the Valorant Champions Tour. Next year is going to introduce a new structure with 30 teams competing in three new international leagues. In normal years, our plan is to operate two international league splits each season. But as teams will be busy setting up in their new global hubs, we're gonna take this opportunity to do something special. To recognize this landmark transition, instead of a regular split, we're gonna kick off the next season by hosting the largest international tournament in VCT history. To celebrate the start of the new season, we're going to invite every partnered team to Sao Paulo, Brazil, for three weeks of high stakes competition. We'll meet the new rosters, birth new rivalries, and get an early look at who truly won the offseason. This one-time event will start the season in February and crown a winner in early March. The team who places first will earn their league an extra slot at Masters. From there, we're moving into the first competitive split of the year with stacked rosters competing on land week in and week out. Across EMEA, APAC, and Americas, we're gonna see a constant stream of interregional matches with the biggest personalities in Valorant popping off right next to their opponents. We're gonna elevate how our esports is showcased and unlock the type of storytelling everyone wants to see. Our major hubs will be based around three cities where we will have the deep support to build the best shows possible. Each venue will have on-site casters providing coverage in multiple languages for fans around the world. This split will begin in March, last through eight weeks of regular season competition and crown three regional champions in May. Masters will return in June and will feature the top teams from each international league. The second international event of the year will reward top teams from each territory with a direct qualification to champions. In July, we'll see the return of last chance qualifiers. Top performing teams who've not yet qualified for champions will get one last shot to earn an invitation to the most important event of the season. Each of the three LCQs will advance one team into champions. Additionally, in July, we're gonna see the debut of the brand new Ascension tournaments. These tournaments will feature the best teams from more than 20 different challenger leagues. You'll see dozens of squads compete on land for regional pride and promotion into the international leagues. The path here will be hard, and aspiring teams will need to battle through two splits that will start in January and conclude with Ascension in July. In August, we're gonna cap off the year with Champions, our celebration of all things Valorant. After an inaugural season full of new changes and new events, the mission becomes critically simple. Secure the Champions Cup and write your name into the history books. Teams will be in top form for the biggest event of the season, and we can't wait to see who will stand at the top of the podium after the dust has settled. We're excited to share the initial details of the 2023 season and our plans for the new VCT. Your support and enthusiasm continues to push us to dream bigger year in and year out, and we hope that you're as excited as we are. Now it's time to refocus our attention on Champions Istanbul, where the next Valorant World Champion will be crowned on Sunday. We hope to see you there.